mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hey, hello, everybody, true. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another day of tea. Girl, I'm here in my hotel, leaving my hotel because we are in Salem, Massachusetts, and we are about to go and explore what is happening. Uh, but, anyways, we need to talk about some tea that is happening because apparently there are problems in uh, Bubble Land. So, that's going to be interesting okay but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the very right troop subscribe 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 hit the notification bell guys we're on our way to 30k so if you want to be part of the family and where i give you the tea anywhere around the world girl you know what to do and let's talk about this mess more reports and now i think i am like 90 percent sure that the bobas are done so so this is all about tom short and katie maloney we have been talking for the past few days about what is happening with them so many rumors going around saying that they are done that they um are getting a divorce that they are separating they have been together for 12 years guys 12 years it's just like we don't feel it that much because they are so young but they were together even before Vanderpump Rules start so they have been going through like a whole thing now I'm gonna tell you the whole story because some some of you might not know so everything star with Katie posting this whole thing that, uh, you know, about divorce, you know, and praising Kim Kardashian and posting some songs. Then we have some um, shady uh, posts from Tom Sandoval where he uh, posted about everyone except Katie Maloney. So, of course, he's going to be standing with Tom Schwartz on this. And then we have the rumors that James Kennedy told uh, this uh, side piece in Vegas um that they were no longer together that they were not even living together at this point so anyways like i said at the beginning it was everything like pretty much rumors 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 now we have another source close to them coming forward and they are giving us more inside information into this okay they are say uh, this source is saying that they are definitely over that Katie is not living with Tom anymore. That since the season wrap, wrapped, they have been on and off, um, like fighting a lot, uh, breaking up, coming back together. Well, I know it's not like they're boyfriend and girlfriend anymore, so it's not like they're breaking up because they're married. Whew, child. But <clears throat> that they... Um, that they have been fighting a lot, you know, that she end up leaving the house, he end up leaving the house, then they come back together. So it's definitely like a whole war happening uh, in the Baba's household, okay? Now, uh, apparently she is done. She doesn't want to be with him anymore. Uh, the reports are saying that she doesn't think that he is gonna step up to the plate, whatever that means anymore. Uh, or like he's never gonna do it and he has never done it before so that he know she knows that uh he is probably not gonna change and that's that you know and that she doesn't want to be living this anymore now i'm also thinking that it might be related to the fact that um she wants a kid um and i don't know why they are having problems having kids um but anyways <laughs> I think that, of course, Tom is probably not ready to have a kid just yet. Maybe he's stalling. I don't know. I mean, there are so many things. Now, my question is, and my thing is, we have been hearing about these rumors now for a while. Okay? This is not from yesterday. I mean, I will say probably like a week. At this point, if these rumors were not true, we should have been hearing from them literally saying, hey, guys, 
we are not getting a divorce we are not splitting like it's all fake don't worry we are stronger than ever you know blah 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 one of those statements but both of them have been like very quiet um they have been active on social media but they have not been posting anything together of course and so it's very weird you know it's very like i'm really right now i'm thinking yes i'm thinking that it's probably true i'm thinking that they are um separating now the source is coming forward saying that is coming forward it's saying that they are not getting a divorce yet that they are just separating and that they are trying to figure things out now of course you cannot help but wonder is this just a storyline for season 10 of Vanderpump Rules? Which we heard the other day. I think I told you guys yesterday that season 10 of Vanderpump Rules is happening. So we have uh, James breaking up. I'm sorry, Raquel breaking up with James, the engagement. And now we have these two probably going through these major problems and getting divorced. So that will be a great storyline right there. So you know that that might be... <clears throat> a reason especially if they are not getting divorced divorce i don't remember like i remember that they didn't got married officially the first time and that they uh, they they went to vegas the second time right did they file those documents though are they legally married mm, that's something that we should be looking into right but anyways i'm also thinking it, it will be a perfect storyline because you can separate from your partner, you know, and do the whole thing. And then at the end of the of the season, just like come back together. <sighs> Honestly, I hope that's the one because I don't want them to be apart. I actually kind of like them together. But at the same time, like I have been telling you before, they are just so different in their nature. This is so way beyond of just like, oh, grow up or, or be a more mature person. Like... They are just completely different people. And both of them, I don't think I don't think Schwartz is the only one at fault here. Okay. Yes, Schwartz is a little bit immature and Schwartz is a little bit, you know, afraid of commitment or whatever you want to say. But I think that he's also have great, great qualities as a human being. And Katie is not perfect either, okay? She is very controlling and she can be a little bitch and we have seen it before you know so I think like I think that they love each other but love is not enough always and this could be the end of it maybe like they, they are not I mean there is some things of you that I think that it's when it's really who you are inside is going to be very hard to just change it just because the other person wants you to be a completely different person, you know? At the end of the day, when you get married to someone, when you are with someone, you accept that person with all of their um, problems or, you know, like with all of them, um, personality traits and like all of that, you know, you accept everything of, for who they are. You should not be asking anyone to change, not her from him or him from her, you know? So... Anyways, let's let's see what is going to happen and I will keep you posted. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.